This is Mungo Dark Matter, and welcome to Dark Matters. Today on Dark Matters, I'm going to be reviewing and testing the Tascam DR5 digital recorder. Uh, it's a very compact unit, as you can see. Let me see if I can zoom in on it here and uh, get you a closer look at it while I'm talking about it. Uh, it's a very compact unit. It's great for podcasting or for um, recording audio to sync with video, uh, which I'm going to do some other videos about. It has two internal mics here that are, make it stereo, and it has a, a plug right up here for an external mic. And the great thing about this uh, particular unit is that it has an option to use phantom power, which some mics, such as condenser mics, are need power to them, which is called phantom power. Uh, you need to turn it on within the menu of this, the uh, unit here, but it will do phantom power right into this unit. It also has a uh, line-out headphone line. It's a place to stick a uh, SD memory card and it actually comes with an SD memory card I believe it is a 2 gigabyte card and it has a, a USB mini connector on the side so you can offload the uh, sound files on it the back also has um, which I don't know if you can see here has a, a tripod mount on it so a standard threaded tripod mount so you could attach it to uh, a tripod or a similar type of device that had a tripod mount on it so, so that you can place it somewhere. It has a small speaker on the back. The small speaker on the back by default is off so you need to go into the menu in the system to turn it on if you want to use that. Otherwise you can use the headphones on it. And it actually also has a little thing on the bottom for a uh, strap but it doesn't come with a strap oddly. Uh, it uses standard AA batteries, which I kind of like because I've, I've run out of spots to um, plug in chargers for various things. It also has a battery indicator on it to let you know when the batteries are getting low and when you should replace them. Uh, it has uh, audio levels that you can see right on the little... Um, LCD display here. It's a monochrome LCD display and you can either manually adjust the uh, audio level on it or you can choose from a couple different uh, automatic uh, levels on it so that it automatically adjusts the level itself. Uh, once again, you need to make sure that that's on when you're doing it, otherwise I think it defaults to manual. Uh, so it's got like a little menu system on here and everything. And uh, a little tiny LCD screen so you can see it. It's very simple to record on it. There's like a power button over here. And there's a record button. You press the record button, it goes on standby and there's a flashing red light. When you press the record the second time, it will start recording to the track. Uh, very nice, very compact, uh, and the sound is uh, is good on it, I think. Uh, and the fact that you can attach an external mic is, is great, because then you can attach a better mic to it. Now, right now, I am uh, recording with a blue snowball microphone through my computer but I'm also recording on this Tascam digital recorder so I'm going to splice into this video what the Tascam sound like so right now this is a Tascam for this point in the video it was the snowball mic so you may have heard a difference uh, but anyway, this audio right now you're hearing is what the Tascam will sound like, because I'm going to splice that in. And uh, just to give you an idea of what it sounds like. Now, this is with 
the internal microphones on the Tascam and uh, using various external microphones you, you may get different sound qualities anyway I highly recommend this digital recorder I, I think it would be great for podcasts you could take it wherever you wanted to take it and uh, you could actually theoretically get a small little soundboard and connect multiple mics up through that and have an entire mixing system or just bring an external mic or just use the internal mics on it. Uh, when you're recording a podcast and you have more than one person you may want to use multiple mics. Uh, but I believe this would work pretty good if with up to two people. Uh, I haven't tested it with that but I mean it should work pretty well. You should be able to position two people next to each other pretty well for a podcast. Um, I will put some links in the description of this video with like the manual to the task cam, the online manual, so you can like look at the other features if you're interested. Uh, and I'm going to do some more videos uh, showing how to use a Tascam as kind of a uh, audio source for your videos and then sync it up with the video at itself. I'm Mungo Dark Matter and this has been Dark Matters and whatever you do, enjoy technology.